welcome to our Inside Me My YouTube channel. I'm your host Moon, long time no see guys. I miss you so much. So, you might already know this. Currently, we are celebrating the Dinja Festival in a country. And the Dinja Festival is one of uh, Myanmar's most famous festivals. And people light the thousands of wine lamps and candles uh, to illuminate their houses and temples. And I'm going to explain about that uh, lighting the temples in one video. If you haven't watched it yet, I will leave the comment section. Uh, in this potential festival, uh, families pay respect to their ancestors and um, most of the Myanmar families reunite and share their special meals together in this time. And people decorate uh, their houses with paper lanterns and colorful decorations. And traditional dance and music performances are common in the Tinjo. Uh, in this festival, children are so happy since they receive gifts and pocket money. In this festival, <laughs> and uh, the Tinjo is a precious time for projects to reflect their spiritual journey. And it's a very delightful and colorful festival celebrated all over Myanmar. So today I will show you how I celebrate the Dinjo Festival at home. So firstly, uh, I will prepare the lantern. So let me take some paper lanterns. Here, some cross. Let's play. Actually, today is the full moon day of the Dinjo, but the weather is not too fine make a wish uh, not to rain so what we need is the first part is glue and the colorful paper lanterns and candles to lighten the uh, lantern <laughs> I forget and the match it's too hard to light the match because it's too windy uh, because of the weather Okay, let's test. Mm, yellow color. And what color? Ah, pink, pink. Strawberry pink is so cute. Okay, let's do this. And firstly, our manager uh, teach very carefully <laughs> how to do the paper lanterns. Uh, firstly, uh, we will use the glue and enter the. Uh, I don't know circle paper to stick to stick in the paper lantern mm. so uh, I was waiting for the deck uh, to illuminate beautiful paper lanterns and the candles uh, I need the deck surrounding uh, to see the beautiful candle lighting and also cute electric like that. It's cute, right? Okay. okay, let's lighten the first one. The beautiful yellow color. Okay. It looks the weather is so calm. It's the little square one to put on the handle. Mm. I'm so excited. Beautiful, right? Mm. Okay. Let's go and let's put beautifully on the here. Can you see? Can you see the strand? Isn't it so beautiful? Okay, let's go to the another lantern. I can't wait to see all the beautiful colors. Wing, please help me, please. I can't wait to see the nice color. Can you guess it? Can you guess the nice color? Mm -hmm. Because of the wind, the candle 
True. Wish me. Ah, I win again. Okay. Okay. Let it go. In the wing. It's the yellow cream. Candles are lit on the buildings and along the streets. Actually, the lights and candles represent uh, the pathway or uh, bind the Lord Buddha. Uh, and he descended back to the mortal world after successfully preaching his mother, who was in heaven. Uh, in towns and uh, villages uh, near rivers, People put wine lamps on clothes and lavender in the water, uh, like the, creating a beautiful scene. Okay, let's light and add the candles. The wind is so strong because of the strong impatient with the light and all candles. When we set in the candles, our lanterns are out of the light. So, we light the candles every the danger festival every year. In the full moon day of the danger, they use acts for forgiveness if they've committed any wrongdoing. Nima Buddhists show their respect and offer gifts to the elders. The teacher and the parents. In return, sample group many are given by the elders for the enjoyment of the Badinju festival. So, lastly, I wanted to know that Badinju is a, a meaningful and joyous occasion for doing good merit. So, uh, after telling the history of the Badinju festival, let's have some fun! Our inside my YouTube channel. So see you in the next video. Bye.